is like the most exciting thrift news in forever. Welcome back to Blueprint DIY. Angelina here again, and today we are doing a thrift haul. And um, I've been doing a lot of DIY videos, which I hope you guys have been enjoying. And so I wanted to throw in a thrift haul in here, um, and then we'll get back to the DIYs. But um, I really, of course, enjoy thrifting. And first, I'm going to start with my latest finds, which um, me and my mom went to the Family Thrift Center outlet. These next two items were $1.75. And um, the first thing is this black and white sweater. And I really like, you know, um, that it's kind of see-through and that it is short sleeve. <laughs> That's a big deal. And just how it fits on me is kind of like slouchy on me and this is Morona so I guess Morona comes from well I I see Morona a lot at Target and I like the length of it it's nice for you know it couldn't be a cover the bum sweater but it can also be like a tuck on one side just kind of a slouchy fit sweater so um, like I said this was a dollar 75 and I am really excited to style it and I'm going to show you how I style all of these pieces so just just don't don't worry <laughs> and the next item are these camel color pants from Talbot and I really like these because they are I mean I love the color and they have I like the feel of them they feel very soft not like velvet but you know kind of like that brushed feel and I like the detail on the legs. I will show you guys, and I haven't even finished these at this point where I'm shooting these video, this video, but I like how they have this little uh, opening at the legs so you can turn them up. I will show you guys how they fit when I first bought them. These are, they're curvy. They, I guess they have a curvy section. So these are in their curvy section, which works fine for me. Um, except that, you know, I wanted them to fit a little bit better so I'll show you guys um well you're seeing right now how they fit before and I will show you guys oh and these were $1.75 and I will show you guys how I styled these actually purchased during the same trip and so it was $1.75 and this is a handmade item so um, I don't know who made it or where it came from but I thought it was very interesting and I'll show you here how it looked before my mom actually picked it up uh, at the thrift store and she showed it to me and she's like this is very interesting huh I'm like yeah it's like very interesting so I went and tried it on and I tied the belt and I, it I love the shoulder structure of it and so I just couldn't leave it there so um, I just decided to tweak it a little bit you know take off the belt and shorten it and I am actually really in love with it and really excited to wear it this fall <laughs> came from an estate sale my mom went to an estate sale in Chicago and she um, was walking around and then while she was walking around she called call me asked me for some things that I was looking for and I told her and she was walking around and all of a sudden they said everything you can fit in a bag not a grocery bag but like almost a, uh, like a, a kitchen size 
trash bag size for five dollars so in my imagination like everybody started like running around like they were crazy um because that's what i would have done and just start throwing stuff in so my mom um she got me this spaghetti strap sweater and it has a nice like um shimmer to it and so i think it was originally marked at the garage sale they wanted um like five or seven dollars for it but i got it for probably almost nothing because it was actually stuffed in a bag with a lot of other stuff that i wanted um that you guys will see later in some diys but she threw in a couple of clothing items for me that she thought I might like. And so I am really, really liking this, especially because I love sweaters and it's hot here in Houston. So I am so excited to have this. the top that I have on right now and I'll show you guys um, what it is and um, on the side here and I I mean like I said she's getting to know like how odd I am and that's kind of impressive so she picked this up for me it was actually over a black dress so it was formal wear of course but um, of course I like the fringe of course I kind of like the sparkle I mean I like I really like hints of that um, to sh like you know I like to look like like the everyday normal Joe and then like I turn around and it's like Oh, you know, like that's like totally me. picked up this is like the most exciting news thrift news in forever like forever right next to and thank you to the subscriber who told me about this god bless you because i didn't know i hadn't been to the outlet in a while and i didn't know someone sent me a message telling me you know just giving me such kind words and telling me that she had been shopping at the buy the pound store and i'm like buy the pound store you know she said it was right next door to the outlet and i'm like hold up you know I got my shoes on, got punched it into my uh, Google Maps and found it, and I was off. So I went to the Buy the Pound store. This is my first experience with thrifting by the pound. And, I mean, I came in like a pro. I came in with my gloves. I came in with my, uh, my mask because I'm allergic to dust. And I went in like a pro. So everybody was looking at me funny, but, you know, I was ready. But this item was, it's a top and I think it's actually supposed to have the buttons in the front um, like normal tops do. But I didn't want to wear it like that, of course, because I'm not normal. And um, it had shoulder pads. I already took out the foam part of the shoulder pads. I still have to take out this part. Um, but anyway, I plan on wearing it with the buttons to the back. And if you live in another city, Google to see if you have a buy the pound store or an outlet store in your area. And they are very good to pick up those really, really cheap items. So um, I'll show you guys how I style this. haul for this month i hope you guys have enjoyed the items as well as the styling please let me know which one was your favorite check me out on periscope and if you have not subscribed 
please subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.